Hi everyone! Today I'm going to go over how I make petals. It's very very similar to the way I make perfect circles. I find that when I'm doing a multi-petaled flower, if I do it this way, I get a really nice result on every petal. So here I've traced my shape. My I have my template. I have traced my shape onto my fabric. And I'm just going to treat this like it's one of my circles and I'm going to do a small running stitch in the seam allowance all the way around. Make sure you don't catch any threads when you're doing this. Just keep a very simple running stitch all the way around, halfway through the seam allowance. A little tedious watching people sew, but we all like to sew, so we get it. Okay, so once I'm done going all the way around, I treat this a bit like I treat the circles and I put my template down in the center, kind of try to center it in there, and then I flip under that end and that end and I hold these with one finger while I pull on this thread and you see that it cinches in really nicely and gives you a very nice petal with just a little bit of effort. Now to do this with the regular starch and press method, you can do that. It takes a lot longer and you have to be very slow uh, as you press only a little bit at a time. So once I dab that all with the starch, I just hit it with the iron. It's a kind of a big shape so you need to leave the iron on there longer to let it uh, dry out the shape. So we'll just it here while it does that. It's still a tad wet, so, and sometimes this end right here pokes up, but if you can just pull it right back down, it's no big deal at all. And I find that, um, especially for daisies and things like this, you get a very, very consistent petal when you use this method. While we're waiting, I'm just going to clip off my extra thread. And there you have it. There's a nice petal. You pop the template out. And there you go. And you can just make these just like you make perfect circles. It's very, very easy to make and very consistent. Thanks. See you next time.